Kinetic energy, objects in motion. When objects are in motion, they have energy in them. The word kinetic comes from the Greek word kinesis, which means motion. Kinetic energy is energy from motion. A moving tennis ball has kinetic energy. A moving billiards ball or a flying rocket has kinetic energy. There are a few basic principles of kinetic energy that are easy to understand. First, some of the power that it takes to get these objects moving is stored in the object. We know that it takes energy to get the tennis ball moving. Or in the case of the rocket, it was shot with gunpowder explosion. Once the object gets moving, it keeps the energy riding with it in the form of kinetic energy. There are ways to calculate exactly how much kinetic energy a moving object has. It has to do with mass, force, time, newtons, joules, and other complicated stuff. We won't do all those calculations. Secondly, once an object is in motion, it will keep that motion and the kinetic energy with it until it is stopped by an equal or greater force. And thirdly, a moving object can transfer some or all of the kinetic energy to another object. I will demonstrate some of these ideas. Come with me. This is a pitching machine. It is used to pitch balls at baseball players so they can practice batting. The machine has a rubber wheel inside that is powered by an electrical motor. Once the wheel is spinning and the motor is turned off, the wheel continues to spin. Why? Kinetic energy. The wheel has stored some of the energy provided by the electric motor. The wheel will continue to spin until it is stopped by an equal or greater force, in this case my hand. kinetic energy of the wheel has now been removed from the wheel by the force of my hand. In this case, the kinetic energy has been turned into heat energy that I can feel in my glove. The kinetic energy of the wheel can also be given to another object and staying in the form of kinetic energy. I will show you with this ball. Remember, kinetic energy is the energy of an object in motion. I turn the machine on to give the wheel energy. Then I turn the machine off, and all that's left in the wheel is kinetic energy. And now I place the ball on the machine, and it will shoot out the other side. Here we go. So you have seen the transfer of the kinetic energy from the wheel to the ball. But how much kinetic energy is in the moving ball? I don't know. We could find out if we went back to the calculations, but we're not going to do that. But even without the exact calculations, I can sort of scientifically prove that there is energy in this moving ball. To make my point, I would need the help of one egg. Here's the egg, and here's the ball. The ball is at rest. There's no kinetic energy in the ball right now. I will place the ball on top of the egg. Nothing happens. Just the weight of the ball or the force of gravity on the ball is not enough to break the egg. But now I'll try this five pound brick. So now we know it takes about five pounds of weight to break an egg. Now let's test this with a moving ball. Okay, here we go. The pitching machine, the ball, the target, and the egg in the middle of the target. Now I will turn the machine on. Now I'm gonna turn the machine off and there's kinetic energy in the machine. There you have it, the kinetic energy in the wheel transferred to the ball, and that was enough energy to break the egg. So now we know that there's enough kinetic energy in the ball to be at least 5 pounds of weight. Kinetic energy.